Behind me, you can see a visualization, a part of the Galaxy and Mass Assembly survey. The positions of the galaxies in this video are their true positions in space. And the images you can see are the true images of the galaxy. So we're currently flying through a real part of the cosmos and seeing something close to what it would actually look like to travel through this part of space. The Gamma Survey, as it's known to astronomers, is the largest multi-wavelength data set ever assembled and contains observations of more than 200,000 galaxies. We began by using the Anglo-Australian Telescope in New South Wales to accurately measure the positions of these galaxies and then built a three-dimensional map of this part of the universe. Next, we introduced observations of the same galaxies made by some of the world's best telescopes across 21 different wavelengths from the far ultraviolet to the far infrared. By looking at galaxies over such a large range of wavelengths, we can learn many things about them, such as how many stars each galaxy has, how much interstellar dust they contain, and how quickly they're forming new stars. All of the energy in the universe was created in the Big Bang, with a significant portion of it locked up as mass. This is being slowly released as stars fuse elements together and convert this mass into energy, mostly in the form of light at different wavelengths. About half of this light reaches us directly at ultraviolet and optical wavelengths, while the rest is absorbed by interstellar dust and re-emitted in the far infrared. Using the Gamma Survey, we found that the amount of energy being produced by stars in galaxies in a fixed volume of space is around half what it was two billion years ago, and is fading across all the wavelengths we observed. In other words, the universe is slowly dying, just as we'll all become less active in our old age, the same is happening to the universe, and it's well past its prime. Its active, athletic, partying days are behind it, and it's curled up on the sofa with a blanket and a nice hot chocolate starting to doze off. However, the universe will never really die. It will just grow old forever, slowly converting less and less mass into energy as billions of years pass by, until eventually it will become a cold, dark, and desolate place, where all of the lights go out, 